Yo, what's good, Stick? What's poppin', my dude? I'm just, uh... Checking the, uh... This, uh, little... Image that I have here. Um... Tweaking it. Um... Before I mail it, mail it out to Mega Dan, I ended up uh, adding some more systems to it, and um, I wanted to make sure that everything's working before I mail it out. Yo, Damaso, what's going on, man? Boricua, dímelo. What's going on, Damaso? How are you, man? How's how how how's Canada? Alright guys, so like I was uh, like I was telling my boy Stick here, uh, this is an image. This image here is by Weird Dirty Gaming. It's an old image actually. It's pretty old. I managed to get the the background music off of it, um, and I managed to add some more systems. Like um, I added this uh, 5200 folder onto it. I also added, um, oh, on the TurboGrafx CD, I ended up adding um, Rondo of Blood. I don't have a snap for it yet, though. Um, gotta get that. Yo, Josh, what's going on, man? I also ended up adding a Famicom folder. Uh, I gotta get snaps for those, too. So I'm, I'm, I'm yet to working on that. I added a Super Famicom folder for them. And um, give me one sec, guys. I added the Mega Drive from Japan on there. Uh, one sec. Yo, what's up, William? I also added ColecoVision and Television Vec and Vectrex. So right now at the moment, um, this is sitting at um, 11,983 games. So you're working on modding your, your arcade one up? What are you modding it to? What are you putting a... a you putting a uh, a Raspberry Pi in it? Have I ever tried any of the Mad Little Pixel images? Yeah, definitely in the past I have. He's put out a couple of good. Uh, I believe they're called the uh, Swine Apples. I believe, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. Um, he hasn't put out an image in a while. Uh, I've been. Over the past month or so, been tweaking um, whenever I can um, this Pi 3 little image here because uh, I definitely have to mail this out to Dan, and then I want to get onto my my Pi 4. Ah, uh, you putting a PC in it, yo? I hope you're doing a video on that, man. I, I I'm definitely interested, bro. Oh, you added the extra buttons to it? Alright, so... Let's try out some of these games that I just added on here, guys. Um, starting out with... Uh, let's go. Let's start out with the Rondo of Blood. Yo, DOA, what's going on, man? How are you, bro? Definitely. Yo, Damaso. Damaso's in my chat actually at the moment. Yo, Damaso makes awesome images. Um Let me know how the audio is, guys. I, I got my audio down because my microphone is a little bit too close to the screen. For langer Zeit lebten die Menschen glücklich und zufrieden. 
Yeah, bro, yo. Definitely do a video on that, man. Yo, and Boricua, I appreciate you checking out my uh, my recent vids on the uh, on the little store tours that I'm doing. Yo, zombie. Thanks for stopping in, man. Um, this image here that I'm t that I'm showing right now, zombie. This is coming your way too. Uh, this is gonna replace that uh, that image that you have. So, and as you can see, what's playing now, this is a uh, Rondo of Blood. Uh, and it's it's translated, I believe. Wow, I got nine people on my watching on a Saturday. Yo, definitely. Yo, Boricua, you gotta hit up that store in Palmer, bro. Definitely. Um, so, so far, I've showed you guys three stores in my local area. Yo, Mazen, que onda? Dracula. Yeah, so I'll show you guys three stores in my local area. Um, what the first one was Game City. That's in Westfield. That's on my way home from work. I pass by it every day. Um, the second one that I ended up showing you guys is my favorite, which is. <laughs> oh man, yo YC. You gotta go because it's Castlevania. Oh man, I'm just I'm just showing uh people the little work that I made to this image, you know. But yeah, the second one is my favorite. I, I showed you guys Tom's Electronics. That one's in Palmer. Um, awesome store, man. If you're ever in the Western Mass area, definitely get to um, Palms um, Tom's Electronics out in Palmer. The third one. I just uploaded the video today. It's State Line Videos. That one is in Agawam, Mass. Um, I go to it not that often, but it's it's a pretty good store. Um, I also have another one in the works, which is going to be Game Hunters. That one is in Springfield, uh, home of the Simpsons. And the last one in my local area or at least to my knowledge uh, it's called uh, gaming game castle and that's in Chicopee all right let me take a look at this chat here you should play through you should play through a Castlevania For game sometime so yeah guys this is a uh, Castlevania Rondo of Blood Zombie, this is coming your way, man. Uh, so let's delete this. Uh, let's call him... He's Polaco. Boom. Polaco is his name. You miss flashbacks? What's flashbacks? Is that a is that a store zombie? So guys, we got I got good news, guys. Um So we're working on getting our boy Mazin um, his streaming equipment, you know, Mazin is, 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 is a great, uh, he's a great individual and he deserves the recognition 
as far as uh, game gaming wise, you know, and he could only go as far as what equipment he has, uh, which up to to now, I mean, he's done an amazing job at it. Uh, but I feel as if he had the proper equipment, it would step up his channel to uh, a lot more. So uh, I had a, a chat with some individuals in the in the in the retro community, and uh, we're pitching in, and um, we're on our way to getting Zom um, our boy Boz and his uh, his equipment, yo. Come on, dude. Oh, shit. It was a game near the ASU campus. I mean... I wish Magaya was here for him to see this. This is uh, his favorite uh, series. I kind, I think I kind of played this before. It looks familiar, if I'm not mistaken. It's they probably have a port of it on the the Game Boy or something. Because you're a guero. <laughs> Nah, not at all, zombie. Uh, well, it was it was like a conversation that I had with. Uh, it was like during a conversation during Mega Dan's stream or someone's stream. I forgot whose stream it was, but Mega Dan offered to pitch in. Uh, so did Omega, and I believe Lit Gaming Nine 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 said that he has like. Uh, the AV to HDMI comp um, composite boxes. He said that he had quite a few of those. Uh, so, um, oh shit. I fucking suck at this game, guys. Um, our boy BFG is currently in the process of um, Getting him a a capture card. I uh like I sent um BFG the money already uh, through Venmo, and uh, we're working on on that stuff. But for those of you that are uh, willing to contribute, um, hey. The more the merrier, man. You know, let's let's get our boy Maz in. Uh, let's let's get him the equipment that he needs, man. Like I, I picked up a a, a Logitech uh, webcam at that at the Palmer store actually. Uh, surprisingly, it was ten bucks. It doesn't have a uh, a box or nothing. It was in the, in the it was in a bag. But for ten bucks, I couldn't let it go by. You know. Um, I believe he's gonna need like a a microphone. But the capture card. Oh, I'm badass at this game, yo. But the capture card is at least out the way. I mean. Uh, God willing, uh, the deal goes through. Yo, I'm a beast at this. Why haven't I played this before? Oh, there's a port of this on the PSP? Uh, SNES crappy. There's a crappy port called Dracula X on the SNES. See, like you guys know a lot more about Castlevania than I do. Um, I didn't even know that there was like a Netflix show and shit. What the fuck? He came out of nowhere. Oh. Um. 
All right. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, shit. Yo, he could grab you. And his fire bounces. Ah, oh, I almost had him too. You would have done a, a 16 hour stream? <laughs> nah, zombie man. I mean, um, BFG ended up getting a capture card, I believe, yesterday for like for 50 bucks. And that was a steal. So we got to talking. And um, he ended up showing me some other links to uh, to some other deals in his area and they were uh, they were half uh, half of what I was expecting to pay you know cuz um, a capture card on Amazon goes for like uh, a buck 80 200 so uh, to get one for like a uh, hundred bucks or so, I, I think that to me is a steal. Yeah, he did get. Oh shit! I beat him. Yo, I beat the stage, yo. Let's fucking go. Alright, so they brought this to the PSP. Dracula X was water down port. I'm surprised you don't know much about Castlevania. More than half the streamers do. Yeah, man. Um, I don't know. Just n never really caught my attention, I guess. Oh, shit. Maybe I should get the knife. You son of a bitch. Yo, what is it with, with birds in games, man? If it's not a Ninja Gaiden, it's here. Yo! I got killed by a bird. So yeah, man. How how what's what's going on with you guys? How are you guys doing this uh this beautiful Saturday? I mean, you you guys could be anywhere, but you guys are here with me, right? Fuck. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Um, 2020 MLB season could not be going any more, more perfectly. Why is that, DOA? I got, at the moment right now, I got two more pies. Uh, one is going, um, Dan's way, and the other one is, uh, going, um, Alpha Nerds. But I'm going to try to see, uh, I think we had spoke about this on the last stream. I'll see uh, how we can work on getting one for you, man. Between myself, Omega, Lit, and Mazin, we could teach a classroom on this. At least there isn't any killer water drips. Yeah, definitely. All right. So, um, zombie, uh, before you hopped on, I, I, I was telling Stick that, uh, aside from mailing this out to Mega Dan, I'm mailing this out to you, this image itself here. Um, so this one has 11,983 games. Yo, what's up, Lit? What up, zombie? I mean, um, 
I'm I'm trying to see. Uh, I'm reading the chat. I'm 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 freaking rude. Don't mind me, guys. What's going on, Lit? I was just talking about you earlier, I believe. Um, I believe uh, you were in a chat one time when we were talking about uh, getting our boy Mazin, uh, his streaming equipment and so on, all that stuff. So I believe you had mentioned that you have some extra AV to HDMI converter boxes. So, and, um, I believe you had mentioned that you had a few laying around. Um, cause we are working on getting our boy, Mazen, up and running. So, so far, uh, we have the capture card, and we have the camera, where... We're looking for the AV HDMI boxes, so if if you uh, if you can contribute one of those for the cause, bro, I would appreciate that. Are they made by Ghana? All right, so um, another another one that I added here, guys. I added Vectrex to this. Uh, never really played Vectrex. I've seen them at the stores. Uh, I know that these games have like overlays that you put over the screen to give them some kind of color. Um, but I'm curious as to play one. Have you guys ever played uh, any Vectrex before? Hyper Chase, Mindstorm. All right, I, I gotta get I gotta get playing, cause you guys are here watching me just uh, going through this stuff. So let's play pole position. First time, let's go. So do you have one of these zombies? Over at Game City, that he has two of these. I believe one of them is in working order and one isn't. Vectrex, pole position. Damn, I was two years old. Well, three. 1983. Okay. Look at the graphics. Prepare to qualify. Four, three, two, one. Whoa, look at the graphics on this. Holy shit. Not bad for 1982. I'd say a little bit better than Atari, actually. That's BFG. He just sent me a DM. Uh, he had sent. He told me he was gonna send me a a picture of the capture card. Whoa! This game's not that bad, man. Game over. Vector graphics outside an arcade. Boo! <laughs> All right, man. I'll, I'll stop playing this. <laughs> Let me take a look at this uh this picture real quick. Ooh, yeah, my boy BFG came through. Awesome. Awesome. Hey, yo, Mazin. 
Ya estás listo, papi. Ya estás listo. Ya está ready to go. Alright, so I also added in television. I'm assuming that uh, our boy YC doesn't want to see none of that either. Uh, but Zombie, uh, there's Advanced Dungeons and Dragons on here for you, bro. On the uh, in television. Um, I also added ColecoVision. I never really played any of these fucking games. Uh, what? What was your question, uh, DOA? Hold on, let me go back in the chat. I believe the question was how many, uh, happy my team is in the first. Okay. Can a pie run hacks well? Yes, I'll show you. I'll show you right now. I actually have uh, an assortment of hacks here. I have Genesis hacks. Uh, I also have Game Gear hacks, Super Nintendo hacks, Nintendo Game Boy Advance hacks, Game Game Boy hacks, and that's it. So. Um, Let's go with a uh, let's go with a Nintendo hack. So on here I have uh, like I have Tecmo Super Bowls 2017, 2018, 2019. I even have the XFL uh, Tecmo Bowl on here. You like playing the Pokemon hacks on the GBA? Uh, I believe I have quite a few here. Yeah, here they go. Pokemon Sky Flora or Flora Sky and Pokemon Ultraviolet. Um, DS works excellent, guys, on the Pi. It works awesome. The only drawback to this is that to exit the DS folder unfortunately right now until I find a, a a way around it I have to use my keyboard to to hit the escape button otherwise um, I won't be able to get out the game let me um let's start a quick game and seeing as this is da -da -da -da. I'll try a contra real quick. Trying to answer a uh, BFG back. Man, BFG is awesome, man. I like the cutscenes on this. I wonder why we didn't get a cut. We didn't get any cutscenes over here. Any good place? Yo, Brady, what's up, Brady? Any good um PlayStation builds for what? For your uh, you're looking for your PlayStation Mini, or you uh, you're looking for a PlayStation build? For the pie. Ed winning. Yo, BFG does guess the best deals. We were always so short, Edwin. So short of what? Oh, of the US? Yeah. I wonder why. Oh, for the pie. So, uh, stick. If you. Are you aware of, um,. Arcade punks. Are you aware of arcadepunks.com? See, I'm 
I'm not really digging the the whole color on this. So just bear with me, guys. I need to fix this really quick. Let me go into this menu here. I'm not really digging the shaders. Uh, let's go. Let's put it at one. Let's go with the stock. There we go. This is how I like to play. I think that's, this looks much better, in my opinion, guys. Yeah, if you were to go to uh, arcadepunks.com, I believe they have specific builds just uh, for the Pi. I mean, for the, for the PlayStation. There's like uh, Nintendo only builds, there's Sega only builds, and then I believe there's one that is just a PlayStation build. The, the only thing about Arcade Punk's stick is that um, if you're looking at a build for Raspberry Pi 3, uh, you have to remember that some of these builds are over a year old. So a lot of them, um, if they're not being seeded, through the torrent or whatever, you're gonna have a hard time sometimes. So that's I haven't um I down I downloaded this sometime last year and I haven't downloaded any more uh Pi 3 images in a while. What home consoles after PS1 can it run easily? Um, so, after the PS1, there's some Dreamcast games that it can play, but it's very limited, stick. Here goes our little cutscene. I mean, it ain't much, but just him just extending, like, his walkie-talkie antenna. But then you get this little cutscene here. Yo, Brady, what's going on, man? You at work? You off today? What's going on? Is there a show on tonight? Guys, we have uh, Retro Brady. He is half of the duo uh, of the Super Metro Record Duke. Super. <laughs> oh my god. Fucking tongue twister. Super Mega Retro Dudes. He's, uh. He's the uh, other half alongside with uh, Retro Ryan. They come on. Um, Friday, Saturdays, and Sundays. They do interviews. As of lately, after the interviews, they do like a little uh, gaming show, uh, little thing, kind of a Jeopardy, kind of a thing going. Uh, it's pretty awesome. If I'm not mistaken, last time uh, they were playing kind of like uh, Cards Against Humanity. Uh, I fucked up there big time. What are you doing, Edwin? I was just looking at the chat, but let me stop looking at the chat and uh, put my mind to the game. Alright. Is there any is there any game that you guys want to see me play? Fuck. Keep an eye on the boss, right? All right. So I checked that out. 
Famicom is working flawlessly. Uh, let's check out some Super Famicom. Uh, what's a game for the Super Famicom? Uh, da -da -da -da. Let's see. Mario no Super Picross? What the fuck is this? Mario to Wario? What? Oh, Mazinger Z. Oh, let's go with that. For our boy Mazin. Keep one eye on the boss and the other eye on the chat. Oh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle on NES? I got you, stick. Just, um... Oh, no death from Barbie, man. I... You know what? I'm going to play that one day. I'm going to see if uh, if it's as difficult as you guys make it out, out to be. Let's go, Mazen! Push start to beginning. You gotta love this Japanese translation. <laughs> El chinito quiere arroz frito. So, uh, I've never really watched this before at all. I know that this is like a, a cartoon series, kind of like Voltron. I was really into Voltron big time when I was young, growing up. They make a Devilman game too, so Mazen. So Mazen, I oh, you and Mazen are covered. Just press to start. <laughs> I'm the Frito. <laughs> Yo, the Frito Bandito was so hilarious. Zombie. I can, I'll never forget that. The Frito Bandito. Alright, so let me just push start. Because I have no idea what they're saying. Is this a beat-em-up, Mazin? Yes, it is. So that's punch. That's jump. Oh, and this is to pick a weapon? But how do I use a weapon? Oh, okay. Okay. Awesome. Is, uh, is my weapons limited? Unlimited? What? Boom. Take that, motherfucker. Mazen, you ever played this before? I never, I never knew that they had, uh, but then again, this is, uh, Super Famicom, so, I, I don't see why, uh, they wouldn't be having this on their system. It doesn't surprise me. What the hell? Yo, run away. Oh, up on punch. Okay, I got you. Okay. Got you. Where you going? Where you going? Got him. Yo, look at the sky. That background looks beautiful. This I want. I mean, if you, it's like Terminator almost. Oh, get off! Get off, yo.
like the way he runs. Oh, shit. If you press the punch button, you can defend, I believe. Okay. Alright, so, uh... This works. That works. Yeah, what up, level one? Yeah, this is, uh, it's on the... It, I had no clue it's on the Super Famicom, man. Yep. It's on the Super Famicom. And, uh... Let's check out the Japanese Mega Drive. And then I'm going on, on to... Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles on NES. Actually, let me check Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles here. So here they have... The Return of the Shredder? What the fuck? And then Tournament Fighters. The Return of the Shredder? Huh. Oh, that's what's up, level one. Uh, uh, Donkey Kong Country two. Oh, he's gonna he's gonna love that shit, bro. Yo, you came in with the other account, um, Brady. The Return of the Shredder. Oh, so this is Hyperstone Heist, Mazen. And here I am thinking that it's a whole different game. So this is Hyperstone Heist, guys. Thank you, Mazen. So it's called The Return to the Shredder in Japan, huh? Wow. So level one, I might have a question for you, bro. So, um, if I wanted to change some of the shaders, and I wanted to save that setting, um, for all of the games within that folder, uh, am I uh, saving? Am I saving the core? Huh, so this is Hyperstone Heist. Huh. I gotta watch T-Belly's uh, last video. What? What was he, streaming level one or something? I didn't get no notification for no streams. I mean, I know that today is Saturday, but he usually streams a little bit later, if it was a stream. Like, Don is the, is the go-to guy, just because of the reach. So zombie, I was watching um I was watching that Zombox that you sent J Love. Um and I believe you sent her uh a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle uh, game for the PS2. I have all three of those games. 
but for the GameCube. I actually got flagged for playing uh, one of them because it includes uh, footage from the uh, from the cartoons. So fucking Viacom hit me up. Moment of silence for Josh. Yeah. Yeah, man. R.I.P. Dr. Josh, bro. I think uh, tomorrow it'll be two weeks. It's crazy, man. It's a little eerie, though, still. I'm not gonna lie. Like, waking up in the morning and finding a notification from him. Like, I, I, I think I experienced that either Friday morning or Thursday morning. Like I woke up and there was a there was a doc, there was a Dr. Josh video. Yeah, and other people that flag you, zombie, are uh, the Power Rangers people, man. I think uh, Level One Online got flagged one time for playing. Uh, a Power Rangers. I have no idea level 1 bro, like so far after his passing, I believe there's been a total of either 3 or 4 videos uploaded so far. You know? I forgot which which one it was that he got flagged for. It might have been um, I forgot what 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 system it was for. But I know that uh, he did get flagged, or he might might have got a warning or something. Man, uh, come this Monday, I'll be uh, 14 days smoke free, man. have any intention of going back, you know. Fuck. So, uh, for you guys that are in the chat who weren't here earlier, yeah, level one. I've been I've been smoke free, bro. 
I've been weed free for going on 14 days on Monday. Thanks, Josh. Like, I had talked about it in the stream prior to Dr. Josh passing um, that I had wanted to... I wanted to stop. And uh, a few days after that, Dr. Josh passed. And I was like, man, time to... Time to hang it up. Is it me? Like, or is the difficulty on the Japanese version watered down? Or am I just that fucking good of a gamer? Please answer me in the chat. Cause I'm too good, right? Yeah, man. Some that that that's what I'm gonna have to do, yo. But I'm gonna look to downgrade uh, some of these games here, man. And uh, I have I have somebody in mind who uh, those turtles games are gonna go to. Trees were a part of my identity. Yeah. Man, um It was it was uh It was YC, you know? But I I again I started out at extremely early age. I was eleven years old, you know. I was uh I was looking to keep my head in the clouds from whatever was going on at home at the time, you know what I mean? Um, and then it, it just, it just became a problem, you know, I abused it, oh, what the fuck, I fucked up my toe? Like, I'll probably do it socially. Like, uh, I just abused it, you know? Just talking to you straight up as a man, you know? Like, I, I just straight up abused it, you know? Like, you know how some people are alcoholics, you know? I was a fucking pothead. Like, if I didn't have it, I was fucking moody. I mean, I was really never that moody that much, because I always fucking had weed. But... You know, it would just... It would just put a damper on things sometimes, man. So let me just give you an example, right? Um, like, if me and my wife, if we went out to any social gathering, whatever the cause may be, right? Let me just give you a little breakdown of what I would have to do just so um, I could uh, have a great time, you know? 
So, prior to us leaving the house, I, I would have to smoke. Not only would I have to smoke, I would have to roll up two blunts to take. You know? One, I would smoke on the way going to wherever we were going. You know? And the other one, I had to smoke while we were doing whatever it was we were doing. You know? Now, when I did smoke those two blunts, you know, and I didn't have any more weed on me, and I knew that I had my weed at home, now, I want to cut my wife's night short because, guess what? I want to go home and smoke. My weed is home. You know? And that shouldn't be that way. So hold on. Uh, I have to mute the retro pie when I stream it. The other flags that I got is over some box. Yeah, man, like, YouTube is his own worst enemy. You know? Like, what? We're not doing anything, like, we're not even fucking monetized. Like, have they even seen, uh, how many people, uh, view my stuff? If I get a view over 50, I mean, I'm ecstatic. this game over yo mega dan hey the man of the hour mega dan so mega dan i'm glad that you're here man i'm extremely glad that you're here so uh, I, I apologize guys i have to back up i have to show mega dan something here so Mega Dan, this is what's coming your way. So I had I made some tweaks. I made I was making sure that everything worked on it before I mailed it out. Uh, so here you go, man. Uh, this is what's coming your way. Uh, this this is the Retro Pie three and. You're going to have 11,983 games. Okay. Yo, camp, what's going on? So, um, I added Atari 5200. That wasn't on there prior. Uh, I also added, uh, on the TurboGrafx-16, on the CD, I added Rondo of Blood for you. So that's on there. I added a uh, Famicom folder for you. Yeah, I could definitely show you Contra 4. I added Super Famicom. I added the uh, Japanese Mega Drive. See, look, this arcade folder here, Dan, that one has 2,000, uh, over 2,000 games. I added ColecoVision and Television, and I also added Vectrex. Yeah, right, right, level one, he's expected to know Death Run, all of them. But he's got to be naked. <laughs> Alright, uh, so, let's go with, let's show Mega Dan, uh, Contra. Boom, there you go, buddy. So, the Nintendo DS folder 
has 182 games, by the way, Mega Dan. 182. So it's all in alphabetical order. And here's Contra 4. Yeah, Camp. I'm doing awesome, man. It's 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 a beautiful Saturday here in, in uh, Holyoke, Mass. Dan, uh, don't expect me to to do like any damage or anything on this, man. I'm not you, and I'm not Mazda. But I'll try. Shortly after the stream, Dan, I'm gonna I'm gonna DM you uh, a picture of the uh, the six button Genesis controller. So that's jump. That's the shoot. As you guys can see, this is uh, the Nintendo DS running flawlessly on the uh, Raspberry Pi 3. Uh, I can't wait to see Mega Man. Uh, no death run this. Audio is too loud. Holy shit. How about now, Mazen? Is is it better? Yo, Jermison! Shit, I forgot. I gotta... Well, DOA, man. I haven't forgot what you told me last week. I, I gotta go th through my YouTube studio. And make some changes. There's just so much coming at you, man. So Fuck. Yeah. Alright guys, I'm not looking at the chat at the moment. Bear with me. Oh shit, I didn't even see him there.
Ah, man. You got a lurk? That's fine, Mega Dan. It's better now. All right, man. Let's give it another run. Oh, shit. I gotta give me an eye buffalo controller, man. Oh, this lady is badass. Any of you guys ever played this before? Shit, I, 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 where's Con- Oh yeah, Contra 3 is, uh, Super Nintendo. I was gonna say, where the fuck was I for Contra 3? That's Super Nintendo. You were probably high, I mean, You were probably fucking high. Diablo! Yo, how did he expect you to shoot through all this? And then, like, the crazy thing is that you're, you're, uh, being, it being a DS, I'm assuming that it's just, it's a one player game. You got wrecked? I would imagine level one. But you know what, bro? You're, 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 you got skills gaming too. You got Mega Man skills. And I'm sorry man, I gotta get back to, to Rockman X for you. Yo, how are you hitting me? Oh, fuck. I'm looking up, not looking down. I fucking fell through the hole. Oh, he makes the holes. Fuck, you enemy suck, yo. Yo, and this is love, and this, the shit about this is this is stage one. <laughs> League of Legends. That's the LOL game, right? Stay away from that, those sections. But those are the right ones. That's fucking low. Yo! I was trying to shoot them, but. They were gonna shoot them. Yo! Haha! <laughs> 
Oh my god. So another thing here, level one, right? Is um I can't I can't escape the DS uh, folder without having my um, without having my keyboard attached and without having to hit escape. I have my League of Legends videos unlisted. A couple thousand views. Holy shit! I didn't know that it was that big of a popular game. Hmm. So there's Mega Man on here also. Metal Slug, Metroid Prime. Oh shit, I forgot. Uh someone had asked for um Nintendo. There's way too many fucking folders. Anyone, any of you guys in the chat have a, uh, yeah, man, I'll shoot you a DM, uh, level one, um, with my number and shit. This image, I'm, I'm mailing this, this image out to, to Dan. Yeah, and he he's he's not savvy whatsoever with the uh, with the pie. So I'm trying to make it as uh, as easy as possible for him. This is an old image, by the way, too, bro. Uh, from uh, We're Dirty Gaming. And I was just telling uh, Stick earlier that... Because he was asking me what what's the best image on the Pi for... Uh, what's the best PlayStation Pi-based image for the Pi? I told him that he would have to check out Arcade Punks. Uh, but the problem with Arcade Punks is... Uh, that some of those images, at least Raspberry Pi 3 images, are over a year old. Uh, man, I haven't played this game in ages. There and use fucking Don. I don't want no fucking boomerangs. Fuck. 
Man, that fucker suck. I suck at Ninja Turtles. Cabron. Alright, that's enough of that. Yeah, man, fuck those boomerangs, bro. Uh. Oh, shit, Manhattan Project. This one's another one that I haven't played. Any of you guys have any extra mics that you guys are looking to get rid of, trying to sell, or anything like that? Alright, thanks for stopping by, level one, man. I appreciate it. So this one's like the arcade game. So wait, let me just let me guess. I'm assuming Mazen no death ran this already. Probably you too, Mega Dan. Shit, maybe even zombie. Press select an X. No, no doubt. So, uh, this is Nintendo. I so I got this so far, level one. So I can I, I can go down to the shaders. So this is my this is my preference. I'll show you now in a second. Uh, I I I do the shader pass one, and then I do the stock X. I I go with the stock. So I, I apply the changes. Now, in order for me to save those, am I going to save core overrides or save game overrides? <laughs> so level, level one is for for you guys in the chat. Level one is OCD when it comes to to the way his his games look. You know. The shaders are saved in the sh in the sh in the shader section. So I I'm here in the shader section. Save core preset. Okay. Awesome. Thank you, man. And then I'm going to resume my game. I mean, the difference on this game is not that much. Let me, look, I, I wanna. Oh, one sec. That's my phone ringing. I, uh. The game that I tested out the best is with uh, Super Mario. 
Like, I know that game front and back, so I know what Super Mario is supposed to look like. Give me one sec. I'll, I'll I'll go into video settings right now. Cause I like I like my games to look nice and crispy. See, like this, for example. Yeah. See, this is this is looking great in my opinion. I like I like this look right here. You laughing at my ringtone? Yeah, man, that's a that's an old song. I'd say from 1993. If actually, I'm gonna list this song in the chat once I'm done uh, going through these settings here. Uh, and for those of you who know Spanish, I want you guys to to check it out. Okay, so da, 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 da. go into the video settings. So, what am I going into options? So, quick menu. This isn't it. Oh, I'm pushing to the side. Video right here. Video settings. Boom. So I'm in the video settings section. Bear with me, guys. Um, level one's giving me some some assistance here. aspect ratio so the aspect ratio is uh, 1914 uh, level 1 should I change that That's not right. 1914, that's not right. Where should it be at, level 1? That's why you never use dirty images. <laughs> hey, man, he uh, changes to 4-3. All right. Okay. Now, uh, am I saving any of this? Do I have to save any changes, level one, when I do this uh, change? Okay, the save part, you're not sure? Alright, so I'm just gonna resume that. So, uh... Yeah, man, hopefully that, that, that fixes uh, some of the issues. Like, some of the issues that I also encountered was, uh... I went to... I took this to, uh... My job one time, and I put it on one of the TVs. Not that I'm asking for your help on this level one. Uh, I put it on one of the TVs, and I believe 
the the screen and the the bezels weren't matching, meaning that the the screen was a little bit off centered. I believe it was because the uh, the TV was a lower resolution. No man, I actually I I have a backup of this, so uh, I won't worry too much. So for as far as the Nintendo uh, 64, I only go with these six games, level one. You know, I I don't I don't uh, try to put any any other ones because I believe it was a 720 TV. Yes. Yeah, I, I'm i not a big fan of the bezels either, level one, you know. But to each his own, I'm not, I'm not going to complain. It, I got it for free, you, you know. Alright, give me one second, guys. Let me mute that. Um, that's my sister calling. I'll call her back. She's probably wondering if I got my package. Uh, Alright, man. I appreciate the help, level one. I, I Honestly, I, I truly do, man. Alright, guys. So, uh, let me get to some fucking gameplay. I've been just been shooting the shit. Like I said, I'm just checking out this image. Um, more or less just checking out that, uh, making sure that A, number one, the games were playable, B, that the music was fucking playing, because I had burned an image earlier, and I had no fucking audio. No, that wasn't my sister singing. And actually, uh, now that, now, thank you for reminding me, um, so that song that you guys were listening to is called, um, it's from this group called Las Guanabanas Podrias. So, Guanabana is sour, is soursop. You know, I don't know if you guys know what soursop is, but soursop is a fruit. You know, it's a green spiky fruit that, uh, it's in like tropical islands. And we make juice from that. Uh, so the name of the group is Rotten Soursop. Dumbass fucking name. I know. But I the first time I encountered this, this song, I believe it was like in 1991, 92. Uh, and it was during the time when I was smoking heavily because I started... And uh, when I was 11, like in 1991, and um, it's like a smoking anthem, it's like a 10 minute smoking anthem. Just for those of you who know Spanish, listen to it, just don't listen to it with your loved ones because it is filthy, it, it, it says some, some crazy shit. Guanabanas Podrias. And the name of the song is called Maldita Puta. So the name of the song is called Fucking Bitch. Alright, let me uh let me post that in the chat. That right there is the link to the Guanabanas Podrias. Maldita puta. Now, what was I going to play again? Hmm. 
That's the problem when you have too many fucking games, man. You don't even know. Oh. What was the name of that shoot 'em up that I was seeing earlier? Actually, you know what? I'm going to do a Super Nintendo. Let's go with Super Nintendo. Let's do a beat em up. And let's go with the Final Fight 3. What? Who sent you the pick? Lucia, Dean, or Guy, Hagar, Hagar with a fucking ponytail? What the fuck? Hagar has a ponytail. Let's go with Dean. I never played with Dean before. Character in the game that I accepted. Oh shit. So, what this game is like that, uh. That volleyball game? YC? So Mazda, man, now that uh, we're going to get you your capture card, bro, now you're going to be able to stream that, um, uh, the PC Engine Mini, man. Oh, so it isn't like that game, oh, I see. And um, if I'm not mistaken, Mazin, there's a there's a couple of videos out there uh, on YouTube that show you how to hack the the PC Engine Mini, like the PC Engine Mini, the Turbo Graphics 16 Mini, and the the core the core graphics. They're all the same, you know. I got a PS2 modded so I can... What? Hold on. What? So you could play PS4 on a PlayStation 2? Oh man, see? That's, that's what's up, bro. It's gonna be something new for you to experience. And and it's not gonna just be a PC Engine, 
Oite Mazu. Because that PC engine, it also has Turbo Graphics game, Turbo Graphics 16. So it has games also. Like, I think in the in the main menu, you can switch back and forth. What's up with that super? So, uh, one second, Mazin. Made up on PC Engine. For the PC Engine? Well, my folder has 274. Uh, the, the Core Graphics Mini that I have here. Let me see. ¿Cuántos juegos trae? It's on the shelf. I think 30 games. I think like 30 games. And then here. Uh, one of my. What the fuck? They got Batman. These are some of the games that um, are on the PC engine, Mazen. Adventure Island. Never seen that Adventure Island. Arrow Blasters. Afterburner. What 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 is an algebra like? Actually that's what I should be streaming. I should probably be streaming some Wii. Kadash, Championship Wrestler, Columns. Try tip to go with steam asparagus. Oh, uh, that sounds good, Josh. I mean minus the asparagus. My family will fuck that asparagus up. Uh what I do for uh my family whenever I'm grilling, uh I take the asparagus and I wrap it in prosciutto and um I toss that motherfucker on the grill, and they're all over that. 1941. All right, I gotta pick a fucking game, man. I, I'm I'm tired of scrolling through this. So like, this is this is what's bad about having the Raspberry Pi. I I let I I compare this a lot alike to like net Netflix. Your you spend more time going and scrolling through fucking the movies. That you are uh, that you are actually watching. So I am going to pick a oh. I'm curious to see what Alf is like, guys. I went to um. I went to a, a retro store in my area called Game City. And um, I did a little tour. So Z Zombie was interested in some games. And some Master System games. So I was asking the guy. And uh, he showed me this. And I asked, I asked the price. And I was like, what the fuck? For ALF? Yeah, so apparently guys, ALF is a pretty rare game. And, uh, he wanted, like, uh, 90 bucks for it. Wow. 
What the fuck? One touch kill? from him that's it that's the point of the game and not get hit oh but the bikes come out of nowhere yeah this game is 90 bucks at the game store have to eat more healthy meals since my mom's doctor diagnosed her with some more things since that are on the edge of could turn into something worse. Alright guys, give me one second. My sister's calling. Hold on. Hello? Hello? Hey! I'm good, how are you? Oh, loser? Hold on guys, let me um, let me mute this for one second.
All right, guys, I apologize about that. That was uh, my sister and my brother calling. Uh, just checking up on me because um, I don't know if you guys are aware, but I've been dealing with um, some ear issues for the past couple of months. So I had uh, I had a CT scan done. What the fuck? Right. Hold on, guys. Mission one.
Round one. Fight. <laughs>
Alright guys, and I'm back now. I apologize for that. 
That was a pretty long call. I don't even know if there's anybody still in the chat. Let's hope he didn't forget that. Uh, no, 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 no. I, I just, I just muted it. I muted it back, guys. I just got off the phone. Uh, I was having a conversation with my brother. Um, so he was just uh, excited because he uh, bought a, he bought a car today. So, uh, we were just talking, shooting the shit, while I, uh, while I played some games and I, and I, <laughs> that I didn't even pay attention to, like I was playing a Street Fighter and I didn't pay much attention, Ninja Gaiden, same thing, fuck, this Toki one hit kill man, this is bullshit, Yo, I can hold it to the end, ah. I love it. I can hold it to. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um, more than likely, I'm gonna, um, freaking, how do I say, not load this up anyway. So I am going to play a game of. Let's play some Mega Man 2. What time is it anyway? Shit, it's gonna be 8 o'clock. How long have we been on for? Two hours? I'm gonna take a break and then come back. I got about an hour. I'm just gonna play this one. I, I'm sorry, guys, to keep you guys on the fucking chat. Who should I go with first, Mazen? Metal Man, Flash Man, Crash Man, Wood Man, Heat Man. Bubble Man, Air Man, or Quick Man. Miles and Hay just sitting down for some after supper games. Yeah, that's why I want to take a break myself. Flash Man? That's why I want to take a break myself wrestling with games. I want to get some food in my stomach. Um. And then probably go for like a nice little walk around the block. Holy shit. Was that just skating? Uh, I want to eat something. Go for a nice little walk. So that way uh, I'm not sitting down after I eat. Not doing anything. And then I'll get back to streaming. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, so how the fuck do I get up there? kind of sleepy because I didn't get enough sleep last night. Yeah, Mazen, bro, get some sleep, man. You don't gotta be here, bro. I appreciate you even just being here. Definitely get your, definitely get the rest, man. What the fuck?
Yo, our, um, our boy, um, Retro Ryan, he made this shit look so easy. That's why I picked it. I mean, not talking shit against Ryan. Um, oh. Mega Man's dumb, he can't even fucking duck. He's kinda laying in bed. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh man, that's cheap. Mazda needs a Red Bull. Un... Un Toro... Colorado. Oh shit! Wow! Look at the damage that I did and I had like a quarter of the health? I'm pretty sure I could beat him. It's just Mega Man's jump, yo. It's just... Got him! Tal vez un baño polaco, papi, que es alto. It's 7.54. I got maybe like another six minutes to go. Um, then I'm gonna eat me some supper. Take a shower. Or go for a walk take a shower and then I'll probably get back to playing but when I get back on um, I'm probably more than likely either gonna be doing um, so I, I, I bought I bought two games yesterday that I want to try out um, I bought this PlayStation 2 game called uh, Predator Concrete Jungle uh, from what I've heard, it's it's a pretty rare game. I haven't seen any reviews on it. I want to play it blindly. Uh, and then the second game that I have is a PlayStation 3 game uh, called Demon Souls. So, those are my uh, two... So who's the next victim? Concrete Jungle is good, um, zombie. Never played it. I, I picked it up for the PS2 yesterday. You want it for the PS2? You have it for the Xbox. You want it for the PS2. I'll take a look at it and see, uh... I'll see how the gameplay is. You know? Go with Metal Man. You can beat it with normal cannon. So, um... Is it like, uh... Is it an action platformer? Uh... Is it an RPG? Is it a shooter? A beat em up? What what kinda what kinda game is it, my um zombie? Damn. Hey, I played this before. I think this is the first stage that 
People always tell me to take. Ah. Fuck. I gotta figure out how to not take damage from this. Because he's so fucking slow, too. Why you gotta be so slow, Mega Man? I need help. Can I farm for health? Let's fucking go. Try to not get hit. That's how you preserve your health. These things look like fucking elotes coming out from underneath the ground. The elote spikes. Uh. God damn it, I'm still trying to make my transition screen background transparent. Yo, T, what's poppin', yo? Oh, man. I got my boy T watching me. I was just about to go off the stream. Uh, but I'll stay a, a little bit longer, T. Shit for you. Pick a game, my dude. This is my Raspberry Pi here, T. Let me show you a, a little quick, uh, of what we got going on. So, I'm working with, uh, 11,983 games. On this Pi T. So I got Atari 2600, 5200, 7800. I got some Atari Lynx. I got some uh, Wonder Swan. I got PC Engine. I got Turbo Graphics 16. Got Turbo Graphics CD. Super Graphics. I got some Game and Watch. Some Virtual Boy. Game Boy. Game Boy Color. Some GBA. Some DS. Some Famicom, Nintendo, some Super Famicom, SNES, I got N64, I got some Game Gear, I got the SG-1000, I got the Master System, I got the uh, Sega Genesis, the USA one, I got the Mega Drive, the Japan one, I got 32X, I got some Sega CD, a little bit of Dreamcast, I got Neo Geo Pocket, Neo Geo Regular, I got some PSP minis, some PlayStation, and some arcades, some Coleco, some Intellivision, some Vectrex. Let's go, T. Pick a game. Pick a game. T. Bizzle in the fucking house. Man, I gotta watch your last video. Yeah, man, pick a game, bro. You let me know. You you could pick from any from anything that's here. But just to let you know, this is also on here, bro. Just 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 in case you ain't know. Hyperstone Heist on Genesis. Bro, good selection, T. I'll fuck with that all day. I'll fuck with that all day. For long outside, Double Dragon 2 PC Engine. Glücklich. Let's go. Okay. So... Yep. Let's see. Uh, I don't see Double Dragon 2 here on my PC engine. I think it might be on the... Uh, I'll, I'll, 
I'll find it and I'll load it. Give me one sec. Double Dragon. Huh. Fuck. The one game that he asked for, you don't have. Def, I have it on my folder, T. I, I just got it loaded, yo. Let me see if it's under uh, Turbo Graphics for any chance. Uh, fuck. Fuck. T, bear with me, brother. Just bear with me. I am going to sideload that motherfucker right now. One second, T. Let's sideload this bitch right now. My boy T wants some fucking uh, Double Dragon 2. Let's give him some Double Dragon 2, yo. So, I have it here. It's on the PC and in CD. I'll, uh, yep. Yeah. Got that here. Boom. Let me get the PC Engine CD. Just bear with me, guys. Just talk amongst yourself in the chat here for one second while I silo these for my boy. Um, T. Alright, those are loading right now. It's telling me 30 seconds. Once I load this, uh, I'm gonna... I'm gonna restart the system, and it should be it should be all set. You want to get this game a buck eighty? Damn, that's insane, man. These COVID prices, yo. COVID is it, it, it's killing it. COVID is fucking killing. And another crazy thing, right? Like I was just on a, I, I just had a little convo with my brother, and um, God bless him. You know, God bless my bro. You know. Um, Freaking, my brother was locked up, uh, like, for the past three years and shit, and, um, I was holding him down through, like, commissary and all that, um, he came out in April, got a job, you know, but through this whole COVID thing, ended up getting, um, how would I say, laid off, but then getting rehired again. But in that process, you know, freaking, um, he filed for unemployment or whatever the case may be. And um, he just got like 10 stacks. So uh, he was just calling me that he picked up a car and shit. Um, so good for him, bro. Alright, T, I loaded that. Fuck, it didn't fucking load, yo. Either I ran out of space, T, or uh, I'll see what I could do. Because I definitely have it, bro. I definitely have the, um, the Double Dragon for the PC Engine CD. I definitely have that. But So I'm going to have to go with your first pick, T, unless you have a second pick. So let's... Uh, you're you're a um, you're a Genesis dude. If you also notice here to the right of the Genesis, this is the Japanese um, Genesis, bro. So there's different games on here that aren't on that aren't on the uh, the U.S. version of it. So this folder only has 423, whereas to the Genesis has 784. So let's go with uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. My boy wants Hyperstone Heist. 
Yeah, no doubt. I mean, there are people though, T, that like uh, like us. We we've been essential workers pretty much. You know what I mean? Uh, we've been going to work every fucking day. Um, so I haven't I haven't lost any income whatsoever at all. If anything, I've gained income because uh, my job stepped it up big time and um, they ended up giving us like a raise for the time being you know so the raise was a five dollar raise so I was already like at 18 already you know so uh, that that bumped me up to like 23 um, so like I said, I really haven't lost any income. S some people, on the other hand, have. Um, have they lost 10 G's worth? Uh, maybe. Maybe not. Yo, Mega Map, what's poppin'? Oh man, you guys are awesome, bro. So now I got seven people in the chat. I think the max I've ever had in, the, in my chat has been 12. I was playing this game earlier, but I was playing the Japanese version. Um, T-Belly. And in, in Japan, it's not called the Hyperstone Heist. And for some reason, the AI is, is dumber than this. Maybe they dumbed it down. So on the Japanese, it's called uh, the Return of the Shredder. Guys, um, I got a few packages I got to mail out. I, I keep saying this, but I'm pretty excited uh, to mail them out. I can't wait for uh, to mail out Mega Man's Mega Man Mega Dance package. Uh, I added something a little extra there for him that uh, T said that he's gonna go crazy for. Ah oh, shit! Let me get this pizza. Yo. All right, hold on. I gotta fix this. I gotta put my phone to where I can see my chat. I didn't get nothing being essential except spend more money. Word, no doubt. At least we living, you know. Like, it was crazy though. Your way, T. I ain't gonna lie. Like that shit, New York City for for a minute. That shit was uh. That shit was a, a fucking hotbed, you know? Like, I'm nervous myself. I ain't gonna lie. Uh... Not as far as like the COVID stuff, you know what I mean? Um, but as far as like making plans, you know? Like, um, so I, everything that I make a plan with now, I gotta make sure that I have like a backup, like as far as insurance for it. Like, um, I got this upcoming trip next month because I gotta take my son to Arizona. Uh, for those of you, for those of you that don't know, my son is going to be going to uh, Arizona State University, um, and I rented a, a, a house through um, VRBO. Well, it was HomeAway, but now they changed it to VRBO, 
which is like Airbnb, you know. Um, I had to get insurance on that because from what I've been hearing, Arizona's been another hot spot as well, so uh, I'm not trying to run the risk of not being able to fly out there because uh, either Arizona's on lockdown or whatever the case may be, you know. So I did the same thing for my um, plane tickets and all that, which sucks because it make, means that you have to pay extra. Yeah, no doubt, yo, like, they are messing up as far as, like, uh, vacation time, you know, like, um, I've had to change my vacation time, like, at least three times already, though, you know, um, because initially, my son was supposed to move in on August 20th, which is still the, the move-in date. Or well, not the move-in date. That's the date that the uh, school officially starts, which is August 20th. So I had worked out my vacation around that date, you know. We were looking to get there like around either the 16th, you know, and get him settled in, get him whatever it is that he needed, and all that stuff. But now, although school starts on the 20th, his move-in date... Uh, is now on the 13th so it's like a week prior to the date that, we, that I thought so I had to change all that you know I had to change plane tickets I had to change um, the house I had to change the car that I rented it was just insane but we're gonna make it work yo yeah yo you've been trying to You've been um, dying to go to Florida. Like, I'm dying to move out, out of Mass. I live in Massachusetts. Um, and I'm working towards that. Because um, I... I'm tired of the cold, yo. I'm tired. That's it. I need to be somewhere nice and warm. Where, when I get out of work, that if I do decide that I want to go outside to my backyard and chill you know um, I can do that but here in the Northeast come fall time you know by five o'clock it's fucking dark as fuck outside already you know on top of it being cold it's already dark you know so you're cooped up in the Northeast you're pretty much cooped up in the house for six to eight months out of the year that's a fucking saying you know cuz come October you're not gonna go back outside and then fully and fully enjoy you know the outdoors until April so what October November December January February March April yo that's that's insane how many kids I got T I got four kids T uh, two boys and two girls. Uh, uh, the two boys, uh, they're my step boys. I've been in their life since 04. Uh, one of them, uh, at, at the time he was nine. Now he's 25. Uh, he's about to be a dad, so we're going to be grandparents and shit. Uh, the youngest, my youngest stepson, or he's, you know, when I got with my wife. Uh, he was two years old. Right now, he's 18, going, about to go off to college. Um, when I got with my wife, uh, I only had my one daughter, um, and she was six at the time. She's 22 now, you know? Um, and then, I married my wife. I got with, uh, I've been together with my wife since 2004. That's when we first started uh, going out and dating. I'd say 03, 04. Um, we got married in 2011. Yo, Magaya. What's going on? 
Retro Brady in the house. Oh man, I got nine people in the chat again. Yeah, T. I've been married uh going on ten years next year in May. You know. Yeah, like I am. Um, I'm good, man. Um, like you guys know, I, I, I. I'm doing good, man. I'm, I'm great. Aside from like needing an operation next, sometime next month. Uh, I'm in good spirits, bro. You know, I got everything that I need. I'm healthy. I got a job. Yo, for some reason, yo, T, they made this version diff more difficult than the Japanese version. No doubt. No fucking doubt. No, without doubt in my mind. I'm gonna have two more kids uh, within the next two to three years. Two girls are interested, so I might do it for my legacy. Unless I get a serious relationship. Hit you up after the stream, T? You talking to me, T? Yeah, man, um, I work in the human service field, guys, so, uh, I have two jobs. I have two jobs by choice, by choice, you know, um, and here's why, um, I like, I like having money in my pocket, you know? I like doing things. I like getting things. You know? So, in order for these things to happen, I gotta make it happen. You know? Sitting around and waiting for a handout, uh, that that's not my style. You know? So, if I wanna get those new LeBrons or those new Jays, or I wanna get this new game, or whatever the case may be, you know, I gotta go out there and make that happen. You know? So that's why I have my two jobs, cause, well not anymore, but I used to love smoking my trees, you know, um, but now I don't, um, so at one point in time in my life, you know, um, I was paying child support for my oldest daughter, cause my oldest daughter didn't live with us, you know. Um, so, I, I paid child support, um, I used to pay, uh, one twenty three seventy five a week, which was two forty seven fifty bi bi-weekly, uh, without a problem, nothing, you know, I paid that since my daughter was five all the way up until she was 18, and I always told myself, you know, I managed it pretty well. Um, so I always told myself, like, hey, when I stop paying this child support, um, I'm gonna pay child support, but to myself. I'm gonna put this money aside that I was paying, you know? If I was doing, if I was doing fine without it, why not just keep saving it, you know? So I, I created this account, and the money was going in there, um... For, you know, just for my personal reasons, you know, to get my weed, to get my, to get my gear, to get whatever it is the fuck I want, you know. Um, but then my brother ended up getting locked up, you know, um, and he had to go upstate. Um, and I knew that he was going to be far away from the family. Um, so, I mean, nobody asked me, 
I took upon the role myself. I'm just a giver naturally, you know what I mean? I took upon the role myself to make sure that my brother had money in his books on a weekly basis. Um, so that way he had uh, everything that he needed and I am um, him at, at the same time I knew he was gonna be away from the family so I knew that he was gonna be running up my fam's phone bill you know so I make sure that uh, he had enough money to make his calls you know I made sure that he had money for his cable to keep his ass busy you know cuz I didn't want him to keep to, to fuck it, uh, get into any trouble you know so I held my brother down for three years um, so that kind of took away from the the plans that I had uh, fast forward to January 2020 you know um, we get the news that he's coming out and now things didn't change you know so um, I still continue to work my two jobs, not needing them. I could, I, I could live off of my one job, but like I said, I like spending and I like saving, you know? So I put myself in the position, you know, that um, I'm pretty much saving um, about 275 a week, you know? I'm saving somewhere about 550 uh, bi-weekly, sometimes even six. Uh, so I'm averaging anywhere between a uh, thousand to twelve hundred a month so over the past couple of months I've been able to save uh, I've been able to save me some some money so I, I, I'm doing good yeah no doubt yo I'll hit I'll definitely hit you up T I I'll definitely hit you up, my G. You know, like my brother, <laughs> we were just having this long conversation because, uh, like I said, he just ended up getting 10 stacks and uh, basically calling me up to say, hey, bro, you held me down. Uh, what do you need? <laughs> And I'm telling them like, nah, man, I'm straight, you know, just like fucking, you know, make sure you got enough money for the insurance and, you know, I mean, I'm straight, bro, I'm straight. But on another note, guys, the, to change it to a little bit more positivity, be on the lookout in the next couple of months. Cause our boy Mazen Power He's gonna step up the game Boys and girls We ended up uh, Getting him a uh, An Elgato capture card today We got his cam We got him a Logitech cam uh, Lit Gaming 999 Is gonna He's gonna give us some AV to HDMI um, Connectors Yep, and we're gonna and Mazen's also also the lucky winner of a mini PC engine from Lit Gaming 999. So it's it's gonna be on like Donkey Kong, man. Whoa, whoa! What's going on here? Hold on, I gotta read this chat. Um, I like your videos of your local game stores, man. Cool to see other game stores around the country. Yeah, definitely, Mega Matt. Thank you. I'm on the same. I want another job. I always have sufficient money since I have money management skills I'm considering getting a second job but something temporary since there isn't many jobs out there and I still donate plasma ok 
okay all good to you no problem to you that's a self-entitled what oh uh, okay oh you guys are joking all right i thought something else was going on in the chat man i'm like what So yeah, T, I'll definitely hit you up. You got my number two, man. Like you guys, uh, I mean, we're we're YouTube, uh, we're like YouTube friends, you know. But uh, throughout the months, um, like we've gotten closer, and I'm not talking about just T. I'm talking about everyone in general, you know. So guys. If you guys have to hit me up, like, on a DM, you know, on some personal shit, um, bro, like, don't even hesitate. Just hit me up. Like, the worst, the worst thing that I could say is no, you know, it, it, it doesn't hurt, it doesn't hurt by just asking. The worst thing that I could say is, like, nah, you know, and if you need a hand and I don't have... It at the moment, once I have it within my disposal, man, it's yours. You know, sometimes, sometimes people just need to uh, let go of uh, like um, their pride. Sometimes, you know, sometimes pride gets in the way. It, it's okay to accept the helping hand sometimes, bro. Yeah, retro community is love. Like man, like I done told you guys before, man, I've been up and I've been down, you know? And the stuff that I do for you guys, honestly, from the bottom of my heart, man, it ain't even cloud chasing cuz I, I it ain't even about that you know I'm not self promote self promoting my channel or uh, doing it to get views or likes or whatever man I don't even got no social media I mean I got Twitter but I ain't even on there like that you know I, I just like to see uh, people progress you know good people And I fucks with all y'all, yo. I fucks with all y'all heavy. Like, I'm, yo, I, I'm... Like I had, I had wrote in the chat before, man. I, I have so much to be grateful for to be negative, you know, or or to be, uh, or to be uh, just fucking envious or 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 hateful. You know, it ain't even that, yo. It ain't even about that. Like I'm just I'm just living life. You know, I'm an OG at heart, you know. Shit, like um I'm working on Zombie's second box, man. You know? And people are gonna be like, damn, but you already done gave Zombie something. It ain't even about that, you know? Like, I saw some stuff that he wanted, you know? And while watching his streams, 
I've seen some issues that he's had. And let's corrupt those, you know? If I have the means, why not? Rock steady. Let me get a few hits before I take this pizza. I, I, I gotta, I gotta focus on this guy. Like and and so prior to the, to coming to the, to finding you guys, like at the retro community, like um, I had made some other donations, like and I'm not really trying to just sit here and be like, oh look at me, Edwin the donator, you know, um. Again, through YouTube, I've seen channels that I like, and I'm like, hey, man, I want to see you grow, and let it, let's make it happen, you know? Um, I've done it for fishing channels. I've done it for people all the way up to ETA Prime. Like, I was a big ETA Prime follower before he even had all these hundreds of thousands of, of subscribers, you know? Like, the pie cart that... Um, zombie has now that I mailed out to him um, the first the first set that I made fuck I was just one hit away back when uh, level level one Jesus Christ back when uh, ETA Prime was starting out well I wouldn't say starting out Back when he had like 30,000 subs, when he hit the 30,000 sub mark, I sent them two pie cards, you know, so he could, uh, so he could have a giveaway. Shit. If it weren't for him, I wouldn't have learned about the pie card, you know? So I just wanted to show my appreciation back, you know? Like... You, you guys ever go somewhere and uh, it's free, everything is like, you're having a good time, da, da 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 and all they're just asking for is like, at the end of it, just like for a small donation, you know. Uh, I, I, I've seen people that enjoyed the day and they've had the time of their life and then when it comes time to... Like doing a little bit of donating, uh, they get a little bit of sour puss, you know. Not everyone has the means to, but I look at those that those that do and ask them, you know, why not contribute? Yo, Retro Ryan! What up, my G? How's Florida, man? These motherfuckers block? Alright guys, let me pause this for a second. Wow, I missed a lot of what's going on here in the chat. Um, Jesus Christ. Edwin is a big poppy. Big poppy baby. 
Um, joking or exaggerating aside, I have an issue with asking for help. Yo, why? See, no, no. Why? See, that's that's where things have to change, man. You know, I've learned. So, so I work with I work in the human service field. I don't know if I've told you guys. I probably told you guys numerous, numerous, numerous times. So I work for DMH, DMH, and also for DDS. DMH uh, stands for the Department of Mental Health. So I work with individuals who live out in the community, you know, and receive mental health services. So a lot of you guys might not know, but your neighbor may be a mental health individual receiving mental health services just because they live by themselves in the community you know uh, doesn't mean that they're not receiving some kind of help or whatever the case may be you know um, some people fall through the cracks and that's the scary part um, I also work with DDS DDS stands for Department of Disability Services you know now this is a little bit more hands-on this is uh, anywhere from I'm well I'm dealing with adults I'm dealing with adults 22 and over who have developmental disabilities such as autism you know Down syndrome um, MR which is mental retardation you know which is not the best word to use but that's just the medical term you know um, so I have throughout the years I have grown to appreciate life you know you can't take life for granted like I work with individuals who some of them can't do anything for themselves you know and here I am living a, 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 a life that I can walk, talk, I can breathe without a machine. I can open up the fridge without asking for assistance. I can wipe my own ass. You know? I can think for myself. I can shower myself. I can feed myself. I work with individuals who can't do that, but yet still live the happiest life that they can. So for me to sit here and complain that, oh, I didn't get the last, man, I didn't get the latest game, or I can't get the latest sneakers, man, that's, that's trivial. To the shit that the guys that I work with have to deal with on a daily basis. Before they even get out of bed. So. I I, I just don't fucking complain. Because there's always. Always. Someone who has it worse. Just be grateful for what you have. You know, appreciate life because you only get it, you only get one of it. You know, so prior to me working in the human service field, like now I'm aware, now I'm aware that there are people, like I've been doing this since 03. That's how I met my wife working in this field. Um, like I when I was young, I was 23. You know, I used to complain about everything. Oh, I can't get the new J's. You know, until I started working with people who had no fucking feet to put no J's on. You know, then then you start to appreciate life.
So if uh, if I would have seen one of the individuals that I work with on the DMH side, being in the Department of Mental Health side, see, when you work with someone who who uh, who's on the DDS uh, aspect of it, uh, some of those some of that stuff is obvious, you know. You can tell. Uh, when someone has a developmental disability, you know, but you can't tell when someone is suffering from mental health issues, you know, because mental health attacks the normal everyday person, you know, mental health can be uh, PTSD, you know, a person or uh, a person who, who just came back from serving in the army, you know, from a war. So, um, if I didn't work in this field, and I was out there in the community, and one of these dudes, uh, started to act a fool, and started to come at me with some shit, it probably would've went down. But now, when I see somebody acting a fool in the street, I always question myself. I'm like, is this person an individual that receives services? You know? Or are they just acting a fool today? <laughs> <laughs> you know? You never know. And it's scary. Like I was saying, there's a lot of people that fall through the cracks, and it's fucking scary. So, uh, working in the field that I work in, you need two things. You need compassion. Well, actually, a couple of things. You need compassion, empathy, you know, and you also need patience. Lots and lots of patience, you know. And you can't take stuff personal in this job, you know. I've been, I've been hit. I've been spit at, I've been called all types of names, but you can't take this personal, you know, you gotta have a thick skin, you know, some individuals throughout the years, they developed uh, a system to where they know, uh, what buttons to push and shit. They're like, oh, they know that if I call this person the N-word, uh, they're just gonna rile up, you know? Ooh. So, whenever they, whenever I do get called or whenever I, I do get uh, hit or spit or whatever the case may be, which is not very often, you know? This isn't like an everyday occurrence. It's it's not that often. Um, you can't take it personal with you because, unfortunately, that's what the person is is feeling right at the moment. You know, like have you ever been in an argument and have you ever said some shit that you didn't mean, but you just said it anyway? I mean, it's what you said or what you felt at the moment. You know. And, and again, man, everybody's entitled to make a mistake. You know, you can't let one day or 10 seconds uh, of someone's behavior, uh, you know, affect the way that you view them or... Because we're all fucking human, man. We all make mistakes, you know. There are some mistakes that are just a little bit too more severe, but we all make mistakes. You know, that's the reason why fucking pencils have erasers. We have whiteout. We have the delete button. We all make mistakes, man. But let me shut up. I'm sounding like fucking Dr. Phil.
Shut ta 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 Yo, Ashley. How you been? I ain't seen you in a minute, man. Ah, oh, shit. Come here, motherfucker. You, what you want? You break, Ash? Second place, Toka Raja. Is this unlimited continues, guys? Is the Hyperstone Heist unlimited continues? Can anyone anyone answer that? Yeah, man. And if you guys want like marriage advice, <laughs> uh, go to my uh, so like I did the I did the Paper Mario, the origa the Origami King. I believe towards the end of that stream, around the two hour and thirty mark or two hour and forty mark. Uh, I talk about my relationship with my wife, you know, um, cause that's, that's another thing in life that, uh, um, is a key factor. The person who you're sharing, uh, your life with, um, you guys gotta build together, you know, it's not a one-sided thing. You know, um, and I talked about not wanting to change your other individual or your uh, your loved one, because that's what people uh, that's people's biggest mistakes. You know, they get into a relationship, they wine and dine the girl. I'm just talking about a guy's point of view. Like, they'll meet the girl, they'll wine and dine her, take her out. You know, it's all lovey-dovey, uh, double dates, vacation. Now, a year into the relationship or two, things change. Why? I think people become complacent. They probably feel like uh, she's in the bag or whatever the case may be. And then comes to uh, the part where changes might have to be made meaning um like your other significant other might want to come and tell you hey uh would you stop drinking as much or whatever the case may be so those those are what i call um compromises you know so I'm pretty sure that your significant other is coming to tell you, hey, could you please not drink as much? Because you either A, act a fool, or it's not healthy for you, or whatever the case may be. So some compromises might have to be made. You know, you might have to listen to your other significant other. But where I have a problem with is, you know, let's say your girl meets you a gamer you know or a smoker well not a smoker because that's the same as drinking let's say she meets you a gamer you know she was fine with you chilling she used to come over to your house you guys used to sit down she would chill with you while you play the game this that and the third it was all lovey-dovey then you know but now, a year or two into the into the relationship, she's like, "Oh man, you play too much video games." Da 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 da. Uh. Well, this is how you met me, you know. So don't come and try to change me. Um. The best way that I can explain that uh, would probably be like, um, so like a guy meets a girl, he meets her all nice and pretty. And she's all dolled up, hair done, nails done, uh, 
and she and her outfit is on fleek right can I, is, is fleek still a word um, do the youngins still use the word fleek on fleek but anyway like, let's say her shit is on fleek right uh, and you and you by the bar and you're like yo this bitch is banging you take you go out with her boom you know now six months into relationship you know you see her all dressed up and you're like oh why are you dressed up uh because i'm dressed up oh did you dress up for somebody why are you wearing lipstick lipstick oh why do you have perfume oh why you did your hair this is and that like i don't get that like motherfucker you let you met her looking good you met her smelling good you know you met her looking you know looking her best so why are you trying to change that why are you trying to have her looking all bummy and shit you know wouldn't you want your girl to look her best you know and if you don't want her to look her best because you don't want other niggas or let me go sorry i didn't mean to say the n-word guys and you don't want other other guys looking at her then that's something that you got to deal with that's some insecurities that you have as a male see i edward padilla quesadilla padilla i know where i stand in my wife's life you know that i don't have to walk around you know wondering where the fuck she is or what she's doing or this that and the third because at the end of the day i have no control over that you know and if I am trying to control that, then I'm going to have problems, you know, because if, if, if I'm accusing my wife on a daily basis, you know, that she's out here talking to guys and this, that, and the third, the way that I see it, if I'm getting accused for something that I ain't doing, I might as well fucking do it. If I'm getting accused of it every fucking day, I might as well fucking do it. So why am I going to drive her to that? See now that's different Ryan That's different you know Like I said again compromises You know Um I Um I as a man You know I know for a fact That I am the head of my The head of my household I am The face Just as my wife is We are the faces Of our family You know the way that we are viewed out in the community reflects on my family. The way that my wife is viewed in the community reflects on me as a husband. The way that people view me in the community reflects on me as a husband towards my wife. You know? So, when I'm out there in the community, I ain't acting no fool. You know? I'm not trying to look bummy. You know, have you, you guys ever been to school and you know there was that one kid who had their uh, their mom or their dad who would pop up to school and they would act like they that wasn't their mom because their mom was all bummy and shit. They was embarrassed that that was their mom. I don't want my kid to be that. I don't want my kid to be that kid. You know what I'm saying? You got to take pride in yourself. Yo, Emily, what's going on? Que la que hay? Que, como esta? For, your, for those of you guys that don't know, Emily knows Spanish. So, like, I met my wife back in 03. She met me a smoker and a gamer. I'm still gaming. I ain't smoking no more, but I'm still gaming. Fucking 16 years later. Yo, Movie High Club, what's up, bro? 
I think I might, if, if this has unlimited continues, I might just beat this on stream. Even though my stomach is growling a little bit and shit. I hope the mic can't pick that up. Because this Elgato, man, this Elgato is no joke. I'm telling you, man, I'm afraid to even fart and shit. Top five movies, of course. My top five movies, um, they probably may differ from some people. Like, um, man, um, have you ever seen uh, City of God? Ciudad de Deus. That's a Brazilian film. Uh, with subtitles, it's fucking awesome. Um, and then there's another one called Sin Nombre. Um, it's like uh, a group of people trying to come from like El Salvador, and they got to deal with like uh, MS-13 and shit. Uh, let's see what else. I kind of like my mobster movies, you know. So I'm trying to think, um, what other movies? Fuck, I could run? I didn't know I could run. This whole time I could run? Yep, Scarface. There you go. Scarface, City of God. Apocalypto's another one, T. Apocalypto's awesome. How about drink five? Everybody drink five time. Fucking goobs, man. Yo, Filippo. What's up, Filippo? Hey, um, Omega, um, I did get your DM, I just haven't looked at it yet. And, um, I was actually gonna talk to you about that. Cause, uh, what I was gonna, what I was gonna have you do was instead of, uh, you send that, I was just going to see how, if maybe, if maybe we can send everything to you. Seeing that you, uh, you want to send something as well. I was going to see if maybe we could send out the capture card with the camera. And to see if Lit can send the, uh, that little composite box to you. So that way when you had it all together. If uh, you could have mailed it out, that, that was what I was going to have you do, but we'll work it out somehow, somewhere. I don't mind mailing it out. Hey, did you, uh, did you get your pops, by the way? I hope they delivered them shits, man. I can't believe I put Chico. Who the fuck, <laughs> who the fuck lives in Chico, California? Or the ah oh, no ah oh, man so it doesn't have unlimited continues fuck huh oh. all right well it's nine o'clock I've been streaming for what nine three hours now um. 
My stomach is, is growling a little bit, guys. So I'm going to head downstairs and grab me uh, a bite to eat. And um, T-Belly, I'll be giving you a call. And whoa, 12 people in the chat. Let's fucking go. Sorry, guys. Um, I'm going to cut it short now. But more than likely, I will, I will be back sometime like at either 10 or either 11. I don't even, um, I don't even know if there's a retro, uh, a super mega retro dude show tonight. If there is, then you, you guys are going to find me there. Uh, Omega, I'm going to be uh, checking out your DM and I'm going to send you also a DM as well. Because, uh, oh, and I'm going to send it to Mazin. I'll let you know what. Uh, I'm going to show you the capture card we got him. Alright guys, it's your boy Quesadilla Padilla. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Um, once again, I love every single one of y'all motherfuckers in the chat. Uh, love, peace, and hair grease, and I'll check you guys out in a few. Peace.